This dog situation right back here, he's been in a trash bag for six months. I made this dog out of a Christmas tree garland. It was part of my audition for a TV show on NBC. And I've been waiting for the holidays to tell you this story about why I made a dog out of a Christmas tree garland. It all started way back last February. The world was a very different place. I am going to try to make a golden retriever. I have never made a golden retriever before. This is a very interesting challenge. The first thing I need to do is build the frame to Home Depot and these are 98 cents each. Some bolt cutters right here, nose pliers and other kinds of pliers. You know how they say BC as in before Christ? This was before Corona. I get this email from NBC from this show, this crafty show about crafty people. They say, you wanna be on TV and we'll give you crafty challenges. Let me on, let me try, let me, let me do it. So I fill out the application. I'm driving down the road. I see a phone call from someone that I don't recognize. I picked it up and it was a producer from NBC. You said use materials that anybody can access. I have this. This to me looks like a lot like a golden retriever tail right here. So these are berries, gold berries and leaves and, and this could be the tongue, the eyeballs and the nose. It's a Christmas garland. The plan is create the, um, the bone structure with the wire, wrap this Christmas garland and kind of sculpt it. It's hairy looking, like it definitely sheds like a dog. Thinking that this could be a golden retriever. And it could also be amazing if he's like this Christmas decoration that you could put on your porch during the holidays. I have three hours to complete this according to the instructions. She was telling me that she liked my application and she asked me a series of questions and then she asked me to turn to the camera and tell the host of the show why I want to get on the show. Pick me because I live and breathe and eat challenges and glitter and paint. And that's my whole life follows me back. And she's like, Debbie, we would like to invite you into the next phase of this audition. Yes, bring it. What do you want me to do now? I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Give me a crafty challenge. And I needed to go out into the world and create a sculpture out of my spirit animal. What is a spirit animal? It had to be out of materials that you would not expect. Short amount of time. I'm praying about it. I'm asking God to inspire Go me. to this place called Shinoda Design Center and I'm walking through the aisle and I'm just looking at stuff and I'm putting stuff into my basket and I'm just like this could be something. This could be a golden retriever. Then I see this big long Christmas garland. I could maybe sculpture that into a golden retriever. But then I went to Home Depot and I see these rebar things. This could be like the leg. Bailey is my spirit animal. He's a spirit now. He's gonna be my spirit animal. And I start doing it and I set my timer and I am just going. Back legs and the front legs and then this is kind of the, the head. It doesn't really look like a lot right now. Hey, remind me that I'm young. Feel it just like yesterday. Those days out in the sun. But I think I've become a child of the night. I'll blow back for more hurricanes. Then trot down to the blocks. Watch the bridge boys with their go go girls. Interject my genius thought. to submit a video of me stopping and starting and showing the process wiggling with the wire and I'm wrapping the stuff okay you can do it you can do it and they turn it off and I talk to the camera a little bit and then I start it again one hour and 38 minutes left to go he's looking very dog like I'm gonna give him a little bit of a haircut I'm gonna give him some accessory and I'm gonna stage him for his photo shoot I hope this is gonna turn into a golden retriever and I start making the tail and then I see that I can make eyeballs out of the balls of the poinsettia and then the leaves could be the tongue this was just a plastic poinsettia that I got at the dollar store I painted it with layered chocolate and kissing booth Hold me out of bed with the 
And then I keep making it, and he starts looking like a golden retriever. I'm like, holy crap, and I make the eyeballs, and I make the tongue. a big pipe cleaner to the middle of the two layers of the tongue so that I could bend it and then I added paper clay around the edges to fill in the gap. I took another petal from the poinsettia and bent it into his nose using a hot glue gun to form the nostrils. I think we may be on the wrong side of Pasadena And the grass ain't no shade green It's just a little detour The Christmas tree garland has wire in all the branches so you can literally sculpt with it. I just kept cutting off pieces and forming the shape trimming up the edges until it started to look like my dog Bailey. I'm gonna count my blessings like I never dropped out of school. I'm gonna give forgiveness like I got nothing left to lose. And if Jesus returns soon, his chariots are blazing, I will do my best to follow. Five minutes 12 seconds left on the clock I'm gonna add this scarf to him I will probably use all 25 minutes I'm gonna put a little basket full of Christmas goodies in his mouth I just have to say this experience has been so much fun and no matter what happens I am really glad that I did this because I had no idea that I could make a golden retriever out of a Christmas garland I think as creative people we kind of just gravitate towards the same thing over and over again and we create a specialty oh man I'm pointing at you with scissors that's not good he is going to be on display at my store at Christmas time thanks for the opportunity I'm gonna put the scarf on him now I'm gonna start the clock I'm gonna finish him up and come back with the final This is him right here. He looks like Bailey if Bailey turned into a Christmas tree. I made the video. I sent it off to the producer. I was stoked. I was like, that is the most creative thing ever. And I was just like, yes, bring it, bring it, bring me the show. I'm ready. Still February. The world has not stopped yet. I'm just waiting. It's just a matter of time. I totally aced this challenge. I did it. Producer sends me an email and she's like, yes, Debbie, the producers like this. This is good. I will let you know what happens from here. I've auditioned for many shows in the past and I have never had full confidence like I did in this one. I did it. I'm in. I'm so in. And then the shutdown. What's gonna happen with the television show? The producer lets me know, don't worry, we are still gonna have the show. We're just in limbo and we don't know when we can film or how we can film or who's gonna be on the show, but just hang in there. And then I get the call letting me know that I did not make it. I was mad, I was in shock, I was sad. No, I, I totally did it. What about my cute dog? And so I cry a little bit and I just, I get through it. Almost a year since all of that happened. I packed up my dog, I put him into the shed and I thought, well, 
this is gonna be a really good video for the holiday season. I look back on it now and I think if I had made it on the show, I would have been filming in September. And September was when my grand opening was. And after that, I got to be on the set of The Chosen and film behind the scenes. And I would not have wanted to miss all of those things. Just gotta trust that everything works out the way it's supposed to work out. I think I was bitter for like five minutes, but I'm not bitter now. That's it. That's my story. That's, that's how it went. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. For all of Debbie's wares in this video, including the jewelry and her shirt, please visit DIYGoGo.com. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys.